we are only 13 reasons away from getting a 82% peace deal in a massive coalition war. Prague has been sieged down, so if you guys have not already and you are of legal drinking age and you would like to partake in festivities, go ahead and take your shot. We have won another fort over here. Let's give that to Norway. Give that to Norway. Any of these provinces were taken, we're, we're giving them to Norway because it gives better siege ability or better siege defensiveness. So eight reasons. Very good. We are just, uh, we're going to need to siege down a couple of provinces over here. I don't care about the taking it ahead of time because uh, we don't need to. We have innovativeness at the wazoo, as they would say. Very good. Continue to full occupy these guys. Get as many reasons as possible. Now, sadly, all right, we, we're winning some sieges over here. Let's have you guys uh, with our general, of course. Head on over. I don't want to lose any sieges in my homeland. That would be bad for us. Hopefully we win Vienna. Oops, they forgot to assign a picture. <laughs> um, That is fine. There we go. We've won Vienna. Seven reasons. We are getting there, lads. We are getting there. We are so close. Dutch particularists. We're at 80 war score now. Oopsies, I did not mean to do that. All right. That's it. That is it. Now, I have to give it all to Prussia manually, and that's fine. But uh, how about it? <laughs> uh, that will help him out significantly. We don't need the land. I don't need it. I'd rather give it to Prussia. If I can't play as Prussia, I might as well have a uh, roleplay friendly Prussia, right? And that will give Prussia this... Where is it at? This mission here, which will give them permanent claims in Poland and uh, autonomy change in their entire nation. So good stuff to happen here. Um, now look at that. Oh, baby. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's get rid of our poopy general. You are bad. You will leave. Now let's have these guys head over here. They will suppress rebels. These guys will come over. Let's get these guys back home. Let's have you guys head over and kill my rebels. Switzerland will kill those rebels by the look of it. So this is fine. Prussia has grown too large. Yeah, it is what it is. I will uh, do what I can to outgrow Prussia. But uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a tough part about uh, playing here. But now our truce with these guys will be up very soon. It is over. Uh, do I have claims on them? I do not. But I do have claims on Denmark. So let's attack Denmark here. And uh, we'll take their capital. That's fine. Basically, I just need to kill off everybody that could join a coalition against me. <laughs> That's the main goal there. So this stuff is still being converted. Uh, I need six production dev in all of these provinces. All right. So let's actually do the dev cost as well. There we go. So there's six there. Six there. There's six there. All right. So that is six production or six production in all five of our slave provinces that we have, which is good. So that should tick that box now down. Yeah. Uh, once the manufacturers are done, Yep, and then we should be good. And that will give us slave labor booming for 20 years, which gives us construction costs, construction time, dev costs, and great project upgrade costs, and local geds produced for 10% for 25 years. Very good. And then I need to start considering how we want to get over here. Uh, we have a truce with, like, you know, I don't know, Brittany. I, I really do think that Brittany is going to be the best way to do it. I would call in France. It's actually okay, to be honest with you. Let's do it because all we need is three provinces down here. And realistically, I'll take all five of them and um, do what I can. Is this coastal in Brazil? It is. So that's one, two, three. All right. So we're going to have to, it'll be a little annoying, but this is okay. Um, really? Britain has claims on him. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So let's attack them. That will call in France. I don't need a co-belligerent France because I don't want any land from France. But we will go for this one here. Soon as we are able. Leave it be. 
It's never worth it. There we go. Declare war for this province here. And there we go. Easy enough. So this, these stacks here will beat the tar out of the French who, you know, are a shell of what they once were. These guys will... Let's actually have you guys head over here first. These guys will come over and siege down Denmark. Let's get our navy over here, blockading them. Let's actually get a repair tick first. Oopsies. I just got into a battle over here. Oopsie poopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Let's have you guys suppress rebels over here because, you know. Vassal's vassal's gonna vassal. And then this six this stack over here will also join up with these lads, which is good. Very good. We have them blockaded now. There's nobody in this war I care about. It is actually good that I have a couple of people like um Volstetten in here because I can white piece them. And that will allow me to um that will allow me to attack them in a very short order. And uh, annex them on behalf of my vassal, which is good. So, let's get you guys over here. I should probably get a general. Yeah, whatever. Come on now. How are they holding on so well? Jeez, oh, Pete, they got that morale. All right. So, let's get you over there. Get you over here. Where's this capital at now? Over here. All right. Kill off this Britain army. Breton army. And uh, my vassals down here should handle that. So let's say I want uh, English Brazil to occupy that province. They should. Brazil should be able to do most of that pretty handedly. I trust their uh, their competence. For better or for worse. Trade power abroad because of nutmeg. Very good. Let's get these guys out of there. Let's white piece these guys ASAP. Get a general on this stack because, you know, we need one. And uh, I'd like a siege general. So let's actually have you go over here and have you guys come down here. They're both level three for it. So either way, we're going to have to handle it. Now they have 15,000 men because reasons. <laughs> it's crazy to me. So these guys over here are, uh, they have a big army. Let's uh, get up here and catch them. Shift consolidate. It's wood, so it's not ideal, but uh, yeah. It's about the out outcome I was expecting. Now in this war, I believe I can actually take Gotland as well. We're gonna take a lot of land in this war, so I need Yes, Gotland. So I have, yep, that's good. So Gotland will be taking and it will have to get it up to 20 dev. That's kind of crazy. But uh, then we need a marketplace there as well. And then we need to own Copenhagen. And that will give us, what does this give us actually? Trade, foreign trade posts of the Republic. Very cool. That will allow us to click this button here, the Dutch Trade League. And that will allow us to get down to here which we need to either be revolutionary or have absolutism. So absolutism is one of those things. We're going to get it as we can. Uh, there's a couple of guys down here that will allow us to get a little bit more. But uh, realistically, we're kind of stuck having lower absolutism unless we were to do... I could switch away from the Dutch Republic, but I'd rather not. I like the Dutch Republic. Yeah, I like the Dutch Republic. So we'll stay there. The trade efficiency is good. Continue converting the natives, of course. And uh, let's see here. Let's add you guys there. These guys are already done there. Let's have you guys there. Very good, very good, very good. Yes. Make sure they are all built up. Let's have these guys build that one as well. A lot of trade being left on the table there. Now, we have our two colonies up here. Right. Where are my colonists? So I have one. Oh, I only have one. I only have one colonist. Okay. 
So, <laughs> let's see here. Lots of aggressive natives over here, so I'm not really too worried about them. Same over here. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose we could get up here, give us a border with these lads. Um, I don't know, man. Great Britain over here is occupying. Yep, <laughs> Britain is going to colonize all of Taiwan. Good on them. Good on them. Yeah, I don't really see a good spot for us to colonize then. I guess we can just fill in some of these slots over here. That's fine with me. So let's have you guys over there and have these guys suppressing rebels. So both of these wars are essentially over. Though I think I have to siege down... Oh, Gotland is occupied by rebels, so I can just take it. That is so good. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, now, as far as what we want in this war, I want a white piece you because I plan to attack you guys very soon. I want a white piece you because I plan... Well, maybe not a white piece with these guys, but I plan to... Um, piece them out let's see here i might as well actually like max out my piece deal with these guys there's no reason not to and uh hopefully these guys get killed come on prussia do it yes do it do it very good they're wiped my butt's been wiped name that iconic quote so Annoy your alliance with anybody useful. Stetten. And then Denmark. Because I plan to attack Denmark again in the future, and I'd rather them not be in the way. Right? Seems appropriate. Very good. Nice long truce with them as well. Very good. Now, Teutons are annoying. But I don't think it would stop me from being able to get what I want in this war. So who is this? Is this Pretender Rebels? Bogomolist heretics. Okay. Right. We also can get some claims over here. So let's do that. 19 dev. Yes, please. 14 dev. Very good. 18 over here as well. So I'll get one more claim on them. I don't really need this spy network on here anymore. So I will. There we go. Get these guys occupied as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, France is over here being a pain in my booty. I forgot about them, to be honest with you. I forgot they were in the war. And uh, this war is a wash. I have a claim on Bornholm as well, so I should take it. The AE is going to be horrific. All these occupations are going to add up to be quite a bit of war score against him, though. He's now on medium enthusiasm. Now he's on low. Very good. Let's see here. I want all of this. And then I want trade power. Looks like we're going to have to... Oh, <laughs> my... Prussia lost the battle over there. That's actually really funny. He may have to get onto the Teutons land. Nah. Just wait one more monthly tick and we'll be good. Once the aggressive... Exp hey, there we go. Very good. Very, very nice. I will yoink that dev so I don't have to pay for it. I will not yoink that dev and I will core that up as well. Very good. All right. Not bad. The trade income will be very solid as well. And then this one over here, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might as well annex this whole vassal. There we go. Easy enough. AE is negligible. Very good. Not bad at all. I will. Okay, very good. So it looks like. Right. I just have to dev up uh, Gotland and we'll be good. And then this one here is... Yep, we just got to work through our stuff here. So we have the West Indian the West Indian Company, which gives us embargo efficiency and chance to capture enemy ships as well as a cartographer. Every level of this advisor grants yearly naval tradition. Very good. So... Manhattan, development of at least 15 and owned by me. Well, I'll be able to do that. Did I get some claims? No, no claims. Sons of guns. I could get claims, but uh, I'm quite keen on making my borders touch. So we'll make our way up there in time. Du uh, Wilde Coast, which I assume means the wild coast, if I had to guess. Uh, this is like Suriname or Guiana. So 
Oh, I guess that it actually says right there. And that will give us some issues, some stuff down there. Very good. And then most of this stuff is just getting into the old world. Okay. So this is the big one that I'm pushing for. And then this one is Riemann. Where is that? 75% or more trade power in the Riemann. Oh, right. Yeah. Damn. That's going to take some time. I actually need some more land from France. So let's get some claims on them. We're actually kind of close. Not super, but kind of, kind of, kind of close to um, imperialism. And that will be very useful for us. So we will core up five of these provinces. So one, two, three, four, five. You core up the five cheapest ones. And then once your vassal takes over, they will be able to... Um, core up the rest for you so let's see here i cannot build vassals over let's build 10 out 10 units over here and i'll shuttle them over to uh, act as a um a home guard that trade is good though uh, we're gonna have to handle those rebels so i'll do that luckily there's a fort which is nice that helps out with the occupation let's handle those rebels so we can actually core that province very important <laughs> And I'll leave the fort there for the devastation. It's at 100 devastation, so that province has been occupied for quite a long time. This is fine. Continue converting. Very good. There's just one more province over here, and I cannot convert it because... Oh, it's not my land. Right, I'm being dumb. So let's add you guys there. I think I also had trade power on that province, which is a funny mistake. Funny misplay. All right, so are we done? Oh my gosh, not even close. Been playing so dang slow. All right, this is in our trade, not in our trade company. Right, so these provinces are all converted. No, this one is being converted right now, right? Is that religious zeal? No. Let's see here. How long will it take? Marabout rebels. All right, whatever. I want to add Gabu here. So you will be added to the trade company. You will be upgraded here. Um, one more dev. So I'll give you there. And then very good. Now this one here will also be upgraded. Very good. Walls of Benin. Which gives us construction cost. <laughs> it's very affordable. So. Oh, you have to be West African. Okay, never mind. So this province needs some dev as well. So let's give them a little dev here. And add you there. Not bad. Now, Gold Coast is a province that I do not have the ability to occupy. But it's okay. So we can't uh, core anything else up over there. So our colonies are mostly done. It's going to be essentially just a bit more of a... Let's get you guys over there. We're going to need to um, conquer most of our colonies moving forward, which is fine with me. Doesn't bother me any. I don't care about the national unrest. We uh, we don't have much of that, so it's fine. Let's have you guys brought over here with our big old navy. Yes, very good. Don't be don't be tempted to core that. You do not need to. I promise. Uh, damn. I guess I'll lose the money. That's not ideal. Build this in every province. And build this in every province you can as well. The canal system is good. The trade value modifier will increase the amount of trade in the node. So, it will increase the amount of money that you make total. So, it's the, it's the way to do it. It is the way, brother. It is the way. So... How are my vassals doing now? We got 57 for Britain, 45. So Prussia over here is struggling, man. They have the money. They don't have the manpower. That's the issue they're running into. All right, let's see here. Let's see, can I build some manpower buildings? I cannot, sadly. I can build one here, but that's it. We can build a couple over here once he finishes these cores or conversions. I'll just build what I can in his lands. There's nothing 
you know, bad about that. And the course will be finished up very soon. So all is well, man. All is very well. So I'm going to get as many claims over here as possible, especially in the provinces that are going to give a lot of trade power. Um, I'll give them a general. It's fine with me. Our colony is done over here, which is nice. So they are also colonizing the interior, which is great. Scottish? I don't think so, man. Have you guys gotten any claims for me? They have. Very good. So I will, on their behalf, they are allied to a couple of peeps over there. That is fine. I will, on their behalf, declare war for them. Let's go with New Holland. Let's pay off their debt. And, uh... What are they? They're a crown colony. Self-governing colony would probably be better, right? They will get uh, dev cost and an extra colonist. The colonist is not actually super useful. So they lose force limit? Or is that just because they're a vassal? Like, they're that's automatic. The goods produced is really good as well. Ship trade power. Crown Colony gives what bonuses? I actually have to take a look at that. Let's see here. Crown Colony gives... It doesn't say. All right. Well, I know that these guys are not a Crown Colony. Let's see here. If I were to con switch you guys to a Crown Colony, it would give them... Global settler increase and autonomy change. So that is not very useful. And self-governing, what does that do for me? It gives us a flat plus five naval plus five ground or land force limit. Global trade power and a merchant. All right. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with a self-governing colony. I want them to be nice and strong. And they're nice and disloyal too, which is hilarious. I'll decrease their tariffs because I can afford to and I, I don't need the, the tariffs. I'd rather them be loyal and uh, modify their relationship. They lose. Okay, Liberty desire will go down. Manpower. Go with m Navy. That's fine. And then I will... They have no... Okay, that is not correct. They have claims on these guys. New Holland. Huh. Yeah, Paradox, this is broken. This is this is uh, unequivocally broken. These guys do not have a truce with us. They have a claim there. I guess I just have to declare for my vassal directly, but I shouldn't have to. So they only have 1,001 1 unit down there. So let's... It's because they're broke. So let's send them some subsidies as well. Give them like 20 ducats a month. No big deal. And they'll build up to their force limit. Not a problem. All right. Let's get our armies grouped up over here. Suppress some rebels. No big deal. Par for the course here. And uh, suppress more rebels. Let's have you guys brought over here. Let's have you guys suppress over here. Gotland, I'm just going to... Damn. Yeah, we're going to end up having rebels there. There's nothing I can do about that. This is all Protestant already, which is really good for us. That'll help out with the unrest quite a bit. Not bad. All right, these guys are going to suppress. We're going to end up having rebels over here. There's not really much I can do about that. These guys I will bring over here as well. And then... Uh... Right. This four stack is going to bring them over. You know what? I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. So truces are uh, looking pretty good. Ottomans rivaled me. So I guess I might as well rival them. Keep my PP as big as possible and rival the Ming as well. Let's embargo you while I'm thinking about it. Embargo your rivals at all times. It's always good. Just do it. There's nothing. There's no downside to embargoing your rivals. It's just free PP. Embargo them. We are pleased. Yes, indeedy. So Spain is still getting privateered. How's his income looking? 11 ducats a month from trade. That's pretty good. <laughs> Austria getting absolutely gobbled up by the Ottomans. Let us send an insult to... Oh, they have a truce with us, so we can't do that. But let's send an insult to these guys. For 5 PP. And then we'll send a scornful insult to these guys. Let them know that they absolutely suck and we hate them. Right, I can't for some reason. 
Huh. Trading in glass. Okay, so a couple of uh, trade goods are updating for us. We are trading in a lot of trade goods. It's very nice. And uh, we're very close to forming our colonial nation. So that will be good. Now, this, prov this one here, we just need to finish our core in uh, Gotland very soon. Danish separatists are probably going to pop in Gotland, aren't they? Let's get those guys over there and get these guys suppressing here. I'll lose the admin. I don't mind that. All right. Very good. Spain's opinion will go down. We gain money. And then we'll get a trade conflict. Of course. Screw them. There we go. We got a mission done somewhere. Expand the slave trade. Yes. Goody goody. All right. So this will give us some production bonuses and some cost to upgrade our uh, stuff and some buildings cost. So spam the buildings. All the buildings will uh, will be made. Now, actually, instead of these guys, you know what? Yeah, we're going to we're going to stick with those for now. <laughs> and then I'll build these in my own lands first. Because obviously, if anybody's going to be killing it, I want it to be me first. We also need to make sure that we are getting some... Um... Really? Do I just not have manufacturers? How come I'm not getting manufacturing spread? What? Really? Was that changed in Flavor Universalis? How curious. That does not seem right. I have manufacturers built and I'm not getting the institution. Let me see here. Has manufacturers and is on the same. So the printing press spawned here. Manufacturers spawned in Krakow. Do I not have textile manufacturers? I definitely do. I am very confused. Is this a bug? I don't know. Anyways, we'll get it eventually. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of weird, right? That is pretty weird. But uh, it's already been a longer video. So we're going to um, click this button a few times so I don't take out a loan. Because I don't want to take out a loan if I don't have to. A couple more of these guys here. And click that button there. The manpower is not an issue at all. But the professionalism is very good. We essentially lost 7,000 manpower to be able to gain five professionalism. Which get, allows us to click this button to gain 62,000. So... Not too bad, but uh, yes, all is well. The coalition is gone for now. Prussia is big and strong. Let's take a look at Prussia's mission tree now. We, um, yeah, we probably won't be able to do a whole lot more with them because a lot of it is actually land that I already own, which obviously we're not going to do that. Um, develop Konigsberg, have a university in Konigsberg. Did I already build one of those? I think I did. I did. So it needs how much dev? Am I high? Does it already... It says 30 dev. Okay. Well. There we go. That will allow them to click that button, which will give them the University of Konigsberg event. And then all we need to do is... Uh, yeah. This will be our next major war against Poland over here to take all of that land. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the campaign half as much as I am. I am having a great time. And... Uh, very soon, we will be able to unite the two crowns. He has to like me a little bit more, and we need 90 Republican tradition. You know what? Before we end our episode, let's do it. Before we end the episode, let's do it. I have no issues with that. I'm sure you guys will appreciate that. I actually don't know exactly what it does, but I know that it does um, essentially... It merges our idea group, and I think we inherit them, to be honest with you. So, unite the two crowns here in just a moment. Dutch Brazil. Uh, they can be a private enterprise. That is fine. Uh, I will not take Diplotech quite yet. Let's see here. Want claims on every province that is 
high dev and uh, definitely the trade centers because I plan to take the trade centers. Let us finish this up. We got our 10 province vassals, so we get an extra merchant. Very good. And uh, we will steer from... I suppose steering from here would be okay. You actually gain trade power if you're steering from a node, if you don't know. So we are propagating quite a bit upstream up to here. So that might be better. We'll click that button here in a moment. I want to see what this, how this affects it. No, no, no. Not to Bengal. This way. Three? Okay, I'll take it. I'll click a button there. That's fine. All right, so we will click Unite the Two Crowns, which um, the United Crowns is our nation, and we integrate these guys, uh, and we can get some unique stuff. Grand design. Oh, right, we integrated all of his subjects as well. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, we will go with this, and uh, let's see how that affects our ideas. We now have trade efficiency, land fire damage, three tolerance of heretics, heavy ship combat ability, morale of navies, 20% goods produced, holy smokes, land, uh, naval, naval leader fire, marines force limit, that's fine, an extra merchant and trade range, 10% siege ability, inflation reduction, global settler increase. And I bet if I go one month, I'm going to get a lot more than just one. No, nope, we just get one more merchant. Very good. Now let's click this button here. Uh, every center of trade in the Brazil region is owned by us. And uh, provinces, those provinces will now get plus three trade value, which is good. Uh, which means we should probably be steering from Brazil now, huh? Yeah, lots of trade in Brazil. All right, cool. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting to do that today, but that is pretty good. We will uh, state all this stuff up, of course. There's literally no reason not to. That will give us a ton more trade over here. Uh, we're going to have to take a look at our governing capacity, but... Um, I have lots of buildings that I can be building to, you know, increase that governing capacity. So I'm not too concerned about that. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Ding the bell. All that fun stuff. And uh, I'm going to have to do a bit of stuff. I'll probably get some of the, most of the stuff sorted out in the meantime, just so you guys don't have to watch it. But uh, yes, all that fun stuff. Anything you're interested in, like the Discord, sub Twitter, uh, subreddit, it's all linked in the description below the video. And uh, my Patreon is also linked down there. If you want to support me. Click on that link. Support me on Patreon. It really does help me out a lot more than you might know. And uh, it's all super appreciated, guys. I appreciate you all. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. This is Juice Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.